Quanta is a prototype designed for a visual, semantically connected internet. Developed over a period of five years, Quanta consists of a novel database architecture and visualization framework for interdisciplinary research. While the prototype is a standalone application written in C++, Quanta includes multiple dynamic visualizations intended for browsing via the web. The simplest visualization resembles a web browser. However, unlike a typical web browser, the descriptive pages are automatically generated from a semantic database. This allows a word or sentence to automatically link to every other concept that references it. For example, the page for water mentions calcium sulfate ihydrate, which contains water. Papers and computer graphics which refer to the simulation of water are also available. These connections are not limited by discipline. Even sculptural objects which contain water are also included. These highly connected links are automatically updated by the system as items are added. Quanta contains multiple hierarchies. If we examine motors, we can trace the parts from which they are made. Parts can be traced to materials, which can be traced to compounds and atoms. In addition to physical dependence, other dependencies such as source citations or cause and effect relationships may be represented in Quanta. Stored as a fully indexed hypergraph, the database allows these connections to expand indefinitely without loss of performance and with only twice the disk space as a typical hypergraph. The current data set consists of 12,000 clauses in the areas of Renaissance painting, modern sculpture, philosophy, computer graphics, chemistry, and biology. The ontology view allows users to navigate concepts for an individually selected ontology or personal system of belief. Quanta supports multiple ontologies by embedding these in the structure of a hypergraph database. Here we examine mineral compounds retrieved automatically from the web and found with other physical entities such as elements, molecules, rocks, and geological, natural, and astronomical objects. Unlike the World Wide Web, the majority of which still employs textual navigation, Quanta implicitly allows multiple visualizations of knowledge-based content. The graph view allows the user to visually plot any two properties against any other for a specified object. Here the chemical elements are plotted according to atomic group and atomic period, which gives us the periodic table of the elements. With two clicks, we can change this to show atomic group versus melting point. Quanta automatically determines the list of graphable properties by scanning the underlying database. While this visualization is used for quantitative analysis, other disciplines may be interested in more general connections throughout history. Quanta also introduces a novel interface with comparative, continuously zooming timelines. Here the timeline shows the lives of individuals. Background processes incrementally treat data as one navigates. The user can zoom in on the x-axis, here we have the ancient Greeks, but also in detail on the y-axis to reveal more or less data at that time. The modern world becomes increasingly complex and dense. A button allows the user to show a density plot revealing how much information is being hidden. Quanta also allows different objects in different subject areas to be compared over time. For example, we can plot papers and computer graphics against works of modern sculpture. In addition, each timeline is hierarchical, so we can expand the subfields of a particular discipline. Here we see computer graphics, which includes the fields of image manipulation, capture, modeling, and rendering. The timeline shows the progression of each of these fields and subfields in history, along with visual examples in each. Hierarchical timelines allow those unfamiliar with a given discipline to quickly grasp its overall meaning. For general browsing, Quanta uses circle packing to provide a geographical metaphor for conceptual spaces. Unlike previous implementations, circle packing is extended here using dynamically driven data. Similar to Google Maps, but for concepts, Circle packing provides a static, yet infinitely zoomable space in which ideas can be explored. Using view-dependent techniques, concepts are automatically expanded or collapsed as they gain or lose focus. With this interaction, a user can freely explore the entire database or internet visually without loss of performance. Within the circle for natural entities, we have organisms and people. Outside the circle for human beings, we find other organisms. Not far away, we have visual and written literary works. Other concepts are accessed simply by panning and zooming. A final visualization was designed for aesthetic metaphor rather than functionality. A subset of the data is presented on nested spheres with most abstract concepts at the center. Clicking on a single concept triggers all connected nodes as one navigates. Interestingly, more abstract concepts cause more of the network to be illuminated. The Quanta system can be extended to include any number of visualizations and is thus envisioned as a new paradigm for a visually oriented internet. More in line with the way we think, the user can easily switch between multiple visualizations of a particular concept 
to understand that idea from several different perspectives. Quanta is presented as a novel methodology for knowledge organization and as a unique database and visualization framework for interdisciplinary research. Possibilities for distributed systems, social aspects, and other issues are further discussed in the master's thesis, The Organization of Human Knowledge, Systems for Interdisciplinary Research. More information regarding Quanta can be found on the author's website.